Hi TPS, welcome back to my next video on JNT Labs. So today we will be seeing some Viva questions on RC Passive Oscillator which we have built previously. If you have seen my previous video, then you can understand why I am making this video and what is the purpose of this video. For every video, there will be one purpose. In my previous video, I will be telling you the pro the lab experiment. Then I will be discussing about some Viva questions on it. So let us start our first Viva question that is what is an oscillator? An oscillator is an electronic device or an electromechanical device that produ produces regular oscillations means you get a regular sine wave or cosine wave okay in the form of electrical energy or mechanical energy if you are using a electron electronic device then you will get an electrical energy oscillations of electrical energy if you give make a mechanical device for an oscillation then you will be getting an oscillations for mechanical energy so that is what about your what oscillator next is barkhausen criteria so for every oscillator uh, it should satisfy the barkhausen criteria if you want to build an oscillator then it should satisfy Barkhausen criteria. So if this Barkhausen criteria tells two important things. First one is the gain of the of the total circuit should be equals to one. A magnitude magnitude will be equals to one. Absolute gain is nothing but mod of a is equals to one. That should be that should be a first criteria. And the second criteria is the phase shift around the loop should be equal to zero or it should be integral multiples of two pi. The phase shift should be uh, the phase shift around the loop should be equal to zero or it should be multi integral multiples of two pi. These two things are the points which have Barkhausen criteria has told us. So if an oscillator satisfies these two things, then it is an perfect oscillator. Okay. Otherwise you will not get any oscillations. Perfect oscillations will not be getting. So it should satisfy these two conditions and it should satisfy Barkhausen criteria. So next question is what is the difference between RC phase shift oscillator and Wienbridge oscillator. So in our academics we will be learning these two oscillators RC phase shift and Wienbridge and much more we will be learning Colpritz oscillator, LC tank, this circuits we will be learning but only, mostly they will, be, they will be asking a question on RC phase shift oscillator and Wienbridge oscillator. So uh, this RC phase shift oscillator is used for low frequencies okay and this is this will be used for high frequencies this wind bridge will be used for high frequencies here we get a feedback which provides 180 degrees phase shift the phase shift sh must be 0 or 180 integral multiples of 2 pi i have told you right in rc phase shift we will be getting 180 degrees phase shift and here no phase shift will be provided Okay, feedback network do not provide phase shift. 180 degrees phase shift means phase shift is equals to zero. It is also satisfying Barkhausen criteria. Okay, here inverting mode of op amp is used in Winbridge. Non inverting mode of op amp is used. It is difficult to adjust frequency variation. RC phase shift in RC phase shift it is very very difficult to adjust the frequencies. Okay, here it is very easy Winbridge. Compared to RC phase shift, pain which is very easy to adjust the frequency by varying both capacitors. Here only capacitors are present, we will be seeing. So by varying capacitors, we can get our required frequency. But here in RC phase shift, we have to change your both R and C values. Because the formula F is equal to 1 by under root RC. Which is, we have to change vary both R and C values to get the exact, exact oscillations. Okay. And it also should satisfy A equals to 1. Nothing but your loop gain equals to unity. Okay. 1. Unity is nothing but 1. So that is your next question. Next question. Disadvantages of RC phase shift oscillator. Because it has feedback. Okay. Output is very small. Due to the first feedback, we have very small output. And the frequency is not stable. As we have discussed previously. Frequency is not stable. As good of Winbridge oscillator. And it is very difficult circuit to start the oscillation because usually feedback circuits are very difficult circuits. Okay, and it requires high voltage. 12 volts battery we have seen right. 12 volts of battery is needed to make this RC phase shift oscillator. Nothing but high voltage is required. For low voltages it will not work. RC circuit, RC phase shift oscillator. Okay, so this is the disadvantages for the RC phase shift oscillator and next thing is why oscillations come under low frequencies and high frequencies what are which oscillations see low frequency oscillations are nothing but below 20 hertz 
if they are known as low frequency oscillators if they are above those and microwave range and above then there are those are those oscillations are known as high frequency oscillations okay so these are the two differences next some of the examples of the of uh, oscillators are armstrong oscillator clap oscillator colprits oscillator you will be learning you will be learning in the academic colprits or colprits oscillator cross coupled oscillator dantran oscillator hartley this is also you will be learning in the academics hartley oscillator phase shift oscillator robinson oscillator you will be learning wayne bridge oscillator you will be learning vacar oscillator you will not be learning these things okay triet oscillator you will be not be learning some of the oscillators approximately 5 to 6 oscillators you will be learning in your academics so those are oscillators you can tell as an examples and hope some viva questions has been covered for you if you have any doubts or any viva questions related i should add then please comment below so that i will be adding those questions also or i will be giving those answers in my comment box okay thank you for watching this video have a nice day please share with this videos and do subscribe if you are new to my channel if not just like it thank you